Hello, smart brains. How are you all? So, here I am, your friend, Aprajita, with your English textbook, Language Odyssey, Class 5, by Amit Publishing House. So, children, should we start with lesson 1 today? Here we start with lesson 1. Voice planner. Who is the planner? A person or somebody who plans everything. Like plannings, we make plannings when we have to go outside somewhere. We make plannings, we make plans for that trip. Anything which has to be done has to be planned. So, who is this wise planner? Let's start with this chapter and see it. It's a poem, children. And the poem, what about the poem? First, let's read about the poem. What is it about? This poem tells us that God is a perfect planner who has created this world very beautifully and intelligently. As we all know, हम सबको पता है कि इस दुनिया को, इस world को किसने बनाया है? God the Creator. He is the Creator. उसने इस दुनिया की रचना की है. And इतना beautifully plan किया है, इसको plan किया है, plan करके बनाया है. So he is a perfect planner because everything in this world has been perfectly designed for we people. So he God, he means God is the perfect plan and he has created this world so beautifully and intelligently also. Sundar to hai hi ye dunia aur isko banaya bhi bhoat intelligent se ke saath hai. Bhoat achche se dimaag laga ke bhoat intelligence ke saath is dunia ko banaya gaya hai. Is dunia ki sanrachna ki hai Ishwar ne. So let's start the poem. Whoever planned the world was wise. Whoever planned the world was wise. To think of land and seas and skies. The poet here says, Kya kehna poet? Kya ki jisne bhi is dunya ki rachna ki hai, jisne bhi is dunya ko banaya hai, wo bohat wise. Wise means intelligent. Bohat dimag wala hai. Dimag wala ka matlab kya hota hai? Bohat Jo intelligence ke saath koi bhi kaam karta hai. But he is a wise person. To think of land and seas and skies. Itne bade bade land, seas, kitne bade bade cheeze hai ye. Or itna vast sky. Iske, isko jisne banaya hai, wo bohat wise hai. To think, to plan the sun and the moon that could be made to run. The way they should. Up is that paper. बहुत सारी चीजें हैं और क्या बनाया है इस दुनिया में sun है moon इन चीजों को इस तरह से बनाया है और इतने planning के साथ बनाया है कि ये अपने आप ही ये अपने अपने काम करते हैं okay the sun comes out in the morning the moon comes out at night ये सब चीजें अपने आप ही होती हैं the way they should Run. Wo apne aap hi chalti rehti hai. He sab chiz. So, he has shown such an intelligence. But how did he have time for all the things we see that are so small? Ab itni badi badi chizo ke saath chuti chuti chize bhi hai in zunia mein jo ki God ne banai hai. But unke pas time ke se aya? Itni chuti chuti chizo ko banane ka. Wo chuti chuti chize kya hai? Little flowers in parks and flakes of snow. Chote chote jo flowers jo hum parks mein, gardens mein dekhte hai. They are very small things. How did he get so much of time to make all these small things? And little sparks, the fireflies show. Or jo firefly kise kehte hai? Jugnu. Jugnu, aapne dekha hai raat ko jugnu jab jugnu ke पीछे लाइट चलती है जब जुगनू उड़ता है तो लाइट चलती हुई दिखती है इट्स सच अ स्मॉल थिंग सच अ स्मॉल थिंग बट सच अ ब्यूटीफुल थिंग तो इतनी अच्छी चीज बनाने के लिए कितना टाइम कैसे मिला गॉड को कितनी छोटी-छोटी चीजें थी वो भी इतनी प्यारी चीजें बनाई सो 
these are the word meanings here and the yes the poet's name the poet of this poem is Eileen Fisher Eileen Fisher has written this poem so who was Eileen Fisher Eileen Fisher Lucia 1906 to 2002 was an award winning author of over 100 children's book he has written 100 children's book bachoki books likhi now these are some of the word meanings please go through these word meanings isko aap padhenge now in a nutshell in this poem we have learned what we have learned from this poem is poem se me kya sikhne ko mila this world is full of natural things which are very beautiful sab natural sab nature mein jitni bhi cheeze hain sab natural hai aur wo bahut sundar bhi hai the beautiful world is created by god is puri duniya ko kisne banaya god ne ishwar ne now moving ahead testing time whatever we have learned we have read Let's test it out here. Do we know it or not? Tick the correct options. Now there are some options given children. Aapko sahi option pe tick karna hai. Whosoever planned the world was fool, wise, clever, none of these. Who planned this world was wise. The poet has said he was wise. Who is perfect planner? Human, animals, God or none of these? Who is the perfect planner? God is the perfect planner. What has God created? World, sky, earth, moon. What has God created? God has created the world. Okay children? Is he intelligent? Yes, no, don't know, none of these. Of course, he is very intelligent. So, put a tick on yes. Now, let's move ahead. Complete the following sentences by using words from the poem in the blanks. Now, here are some blanks given. You have to fill in the blanks with the words which have been used in the poem. The planner of the, the planner of the world. The planner of what? We have just now read. Ki kisne plan karke? Kya banaya? God ne plan karke? Ye world banaya. The planner of the world was wise because he thought of making what all the big bodies he had made? Land. Land. Seas and skies. Okay? These are the big things which he has created. He also planned the now. The small things which, we, which he had planned. No. The, again, there are two more things. Two more big things which he planned. He also planned the sun and the moon. That could be, that could be made. To run the way they should. Children, to fill in these blanks, you need to learn the poem first. Padhiyega, fir se padhiyega, dobara se is poem ki padhiyega, achche se learn kijiega. Then only you'll be able to fill this. When he has made such big things, when he has made such big things in the world, The poet wonders how he had. The poet ne kya socha ki God ke paas itna time kaise aaya for such small things like what? Like little flowers. Little flowers in the garden. And what else? Snowflakes. Snowflakes. And Sparks of the fireflies. Fireflies ke piche jo, jugnu ke piche light chilti hai. How he has made that? Spark. Sparks of the fireflies. Fine children? Now, coming to the next one. 
write a rhyming word each for the following words. Now there are some words given here. Is kahame rhyming word likna hai and that too you have to find out from the poem itself. So let's start with it. Plant, plant, land. You go through this poem again, you'll find the rhyming words there. Rhyming words means rhythmic words. Plant, land, wise, wise, skies, S-K-I-E-S, skies, wise, skies. All, small, S-M-A, double L, all small. See, these are all rhyming. Rhythm, ek jase sound kar rahe na? Plant, land, wise, skies, all, small, sun, run, could, wood, W-O-U-L-D, wood, could, wood, he, see, he, see, then parks, sparks, parks, sparks, sparks of fireflies and Snow show. S H O W. Show. Snow show. Write four things that are made by God and also arrange them alphabetically. So we have to write down four things. We have to write four things God has made. And we have to write them in alphabetical order. I hope you all know how to write in an alphabetical order. So what we do, first we will write the four things here. Then we will write here in alphabetical order. First, we will write four things here. What did God make? God made sun, then land, moon, and what is else? Sun, land, moon, and sky, seas. Okay, S-E-A-S, seas. Fine. Now we'll set in an alphabetical order. So what comes first? L. Okay, L. So we write land here. Fine. The second one, M. After L, M. M double O N E. Now, after M, Q R S. S, but we have two S here. So how to find out? The, we'll shift to the second one. Which one comes first? A, B, C, D, E comes first. So first we'll write C's, S, E, A, S, and then we'll write sun. Fine, children? The next one is answer the following questions. Now we have to do the question answers here. Why does the poet consider the planner of this world wise? Why does he say that the planner of this world is wise because he has created so many things such big things so many things in the world which are of the use of man nothing is useless everything is very well used by a man so the poet considers the planner to be very wise the planner planned for the sun the moon write only two uses of the sun and the moon in the living world. Now children, what are the two uses of sun and moon? Sun. What are the uses of sun? Sun gives us heat and light. Sun gives us heat and light. And through this heat, what is created? The solar energy is created by the energy, the light, heat of the sun. So these are the two uses. And two uses of moon. The moon creates the tides. The moon creates the tides. The tides are created by the moon. Now, how can you say that God has so much of so much time? As God has created, God ke pas itna time kaise 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 sakte hum? Because God has created so such small things also in this world like the small little little flowers and the sparks of the firefly. Firefly is such a small insect 
and it has such a beautiful spark in it. So God has so much of time to create all these small things also. Who is the poet of the poem? The poet of the poem is Eileen. A I W -E N Eileen Fisher. The poet of the poem is Eileen Fisher. So here we complete the exercises. Now write antonyms of each of the following words. Children, I hope you all know what are the antonyms. And antonyms ka matlab kya hota hai? Opposites. Opposite meaning of the word. So antonyms hame yaha in words ke antonyms likh. Plant. Antonym of plant is unplanned. Plant, unplanned. Show. Hide. To show something and to hide something. God, demon. Demon is rakshus. Little, little. More, little, more. Wise, fool. Okay, and small, big. These are all opposites. Fine, children? Now, the subject of a sentence is the person or thing the sentence talks about. As you all know, aap sab ne grammar mein padha hoga, subject kya hota hai and predicate kya hota hai. The inner sentence, a sentence can never be completed without a subject or without a predicate. Ek sentence kabhi bhi complete nahi hota, wo hamesha incomplete rehta hai agar usme keval subject ho ya keval predicate. तो दोनों सब्जेक्ट और प्रेडिकेट का होना बहुत जरूरी है अब सब्जेक्ट क्या होता है सेंटेंस में सब्जेक्ट वो है जो कि पर्सन और थिंग द सेंटेंस टॉक्स अबाउट जिसके बारे में जिस पर्सन या जिस चीज के बारे में उस सेंटेंस में बताया जा रहा है दैट इज नोन एज सब्जेक्ट शराइन लवस मैंगोस नाउ शराइन इज सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज शराइन के बारे में बोला जा रहा है बताया जा रहा है द प्रेडिकेट इज द पार्ट ऑफ सेंटेंस दैट टेल्स अस समथिंग अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट अब चुराइन के बारे में क्या बोला गया है लवस मैंगोस तो उसके बारे में अंजलि लवस मैंगो सी नाउ अंजलि लवस मैंगो अंजलि के बारे में क्या बोला जा रहा है कि अंजलि को मैंगोस पसंद है तो मैंगोस पसंद है जो है वो है प्रेडिकेट फाइन सब्जेक्ट अबाउट हू द thing is being said and predicate what is being said about that person or thing is known as predicate now choose a suitable subject and predicate from the box and complete each sentence fine these are the subjects and predicates given a doctor was a great king are twinkling brightly invented the bulb the food ram's brother Dash gave her a new pen. Who gave her a new pen? Ram's. Ram's brother. It is. Let's change the name because it's given her. So, एक लड़की का नाम होना चाहिए. Okay. So we'll write here Rina. Rina's brother. We'll change it to Rina. Fine, children. We change it to Rina's brother. Rina's brother. Rina's brother gave her a new pen. Ashoka. Ashoka was a great king. Was a great king. Fine. Let's move to the next one. Dash tastes delicious. The food tastes delicious. The food. The food tastes delicious. My children. Edison. 
what did edison do edison invented bulb so let's see what options what more options are given here edison invented the bulb what did edison do edison invented the bulb so let's again write here the food tastes delicious and edison invented the bulb edison invented the bulb and the last one is dash visited our school yesterday for the students routine checkup who comes to the school for routine checkup for your health checkup a doctor a doctor visited our school yesterday fine children so here we end with the chapter and i hope you all have seen you have have read it nicely and you all must have felt also ki god ne hamari is duniya ko kitna sundar banaya hai kitni sundar sundar cheezon se is duniya ko banaya hai badi badi cheeze bhi hai there are big things also and small small things also which are so beautifully designed and so beautifully planned so our nature our world is very well planned by god god is the best plan so stay tuned stay connected for the next video i'll be back with a new chapter for you till then bye